gran alegría hoy nos reunimos aquí en esta casa del Señor para ser testigos de este momento que Javier y Natalí se unen en santo matrimonio. With great joy we gather here in faith to be witness of this moment as they become one in God's name. And we start in nombre del Padre y del Hijo y del Espíritu Santo. Amén. Dios Todopoderoso, Creador del Universo, que quisiste en el hombre y la mujer se complementara la unión conyugal, bendice a estos hijos tuyos, Javier y Natalí, y confírmalos en el amor, para que su matrimonio sea una imagen de Cristo y de la Iglesia, unión por nuestro Señor Jesucristo, tu Hijo que vive y reina contigo en la unidad del Espíritu Santo y es Dios, por los siglos, de los siglos. Amén. Love is strong as death, a reading from the Song of Songs. I hear my beloved, see how he comes, leaping on the mountains, bounding over the hills. My beloved is like a gazelle, like a young stag. See where he stands, beyond, behind our wall. He looks in at the window, he peers through the lattice. My beloved lifts his voice, he says to me, come then, my love, my lovely one, come. My dove, Hiding in the clefts of the rock, in the coverts of the cliff, show me your face. Let me hear your voice, for your voice is sweet and your face is beautiful. My beloved is mine and I am his. He said to me, set me like a seal on your heart, like a seal on your arm, for love is as strong as death. Jealousy relentless as Sheol, the flash of it is a flash of fire a flame of the Lord himself. Love no flood can quench, no torrents drown. The word of the Lord. Lectura de la Carta de Apóstol San Pablo a los Corintios Hermanos, ambicionad los carismas mejores y aún os voy a mostrar un camino mejor. Ya podría yo hablar las lenguas de los hombres y de los ángeles. Si no tengo amor, no soy más que un metal resueno y un platillo que aturden. Ya podría tener el don de predicación 
y conocer todos los secretos y todo el saber, ¿podría tener una fe como para mover montañas? Si no tengo amor, no soy nada. ¿Podría repartir en limosnas todo lo que tengo y aún dejarme quemar vivo? Si no tengo amor, de nada me sirve. El amor es comprensivo. El amor es servicial. Y no tiene envidia. El amor no presume ni se engríe. No es mal educado ni egoísta. No se irrita. No lleva cuentas del mal. No se alegra de la injusticia, sino que goza con la verdad. Disculpa sin límites, aguanta sin límites, el amor no pasa nunca. Palabra de Dios. from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, this is my commandment, love one another as I love you. There is no greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friend, and you are my friends. I no longer speak of you as slave, for a slave does not know what his master is about. Instead, I call you friends, since I have made known to you all that I heard from my Father. It was not you who chose me, it was I who chose you, to go forth and bear fruit, and your fruit must endure. So all you ask the Father in my name, he will give you the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord. Lord Jesus Be seated. Well, 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 a little nervous, just a little. It is important to be nervous because it is a very important day. What a beautiful day, a beautiful day of celebration that the Lord is able to join two of his children to become one in his name. The gospel reading you choose today talks about that. A friendship. That's the way you start, like friends. On one day, the Lord answered your prayer, answered your prayer, and put you together in one place. And everything started like that. You start talking, then became a little more formal, boyfriend, girlfriend, then a little more formal engagement, and now holy matrimony. You can see how the love of Javier and Natalie has grown little by little. Today, you become one, and with your marriage, you're joining two families of the Lord to become one also. That's the reason we are celebrating here in this house of the Lord, the union of these two families through the sacrament of marriage. What a best gift you give to each other, that offer your marriage to the Lord. A beautiful way a young couple start their journey. We got presence in their life. So in that way, they continue to walk in the graces of the union that the Lord has chosen to the two of them. The readings that were heard today are beautiful readings, a very important reading. The second reading is a reading that is like a poem. When you listen for the first time, 
how beautiful it is. When you listen to the second time, you say how beautiful it is, but difficult to be fulfilled. And when you listen to the third time, you say how beautiful, difficult, but not impossible, because there's love. That's the key of a marriage. Love and care of the couple. That is expressed through the community. The way you care for one another, you're showing the love of God to the world. And the people are also happy and also celebrating God's presence. Three important things I'd like to recommend to Javier and Natalie. Three important things that I want both of them to remember every day. They probably do that already, but the most important thing is that they continue doing it from now on. The first recommendation is prayer. Prayer is very important because through prayer, we're able to listen to the will of God, what God wants us to do as instrument of his presence. And it's beautiful that you do it individually because in that way you grow and you grow but it's more beautiful when you do it together also. So in a certain time of the day, you join together. And a simple moment of prayer should be in the house. In that way, you're placing your petitions in front of the Lord. And you're allowing the Lord to be part of your life as a married couple. Family who prays together stays together and grow together in the same mission of proclaiming God's presence in the world. So it is important that you keep that also in your house. The second thing is communication. No screaming or fighting. Probably this month that she has been a little out of control, probably, right? Because, oh, you were. Both, he said both, okay. It's normal to be anxious because this is a day that is different from other days of your life. And a lot of details to be covered. But from now on, everything should be talking and sharing and spending good time. And helping each other as a team of work that the Lord has chosen the two of you to be. When it's a difficult time for Javier, Natalie will be there to come for him, to strengthen him and said, the following day will be better. And when it's a difficult day for Natalie, Javier will be there to do the same, to console her, to give her strength, and tell her that the next day will be better. And you will see how the difficult moments will turn to be positive things that will unite the two of you more and more and will help each one of you to continue to be centered in what you want to do. And the third and most important thing is love. This is more important. You know why? Very simple. Today the two of you are young and beautiful, but time passed. And it's not going to stay like that. Time passed. In 15, 20, 30 years, you are not going to look the way you look today. And if not, look through the back and you will see a lot of people have changed. But your heart and your spirit will be always young and beautiful. Because it is renewed each day by the Lord. He nourished us with his love so we can love others. So you can love each other in the different stages of your life. And you're able to enjoy the best gift he had given to the two of you that is one and another. That gift that only God can give. And only he can keep always alive because the two of you will allow that to happen. And the graces you receive today in this marriage is not only today, it's every single day. Every single day of your life, the Lord will shower his blessing upon the two of you because every single day you are asking for those graces. So you continue to be the couple he wants the two of you to be. Because in that way, from generation to generation, the name of God continue to be proclaimed and glorified. What a beautiful, beautiful way to start this journey together than to start with the graces of the Lord in your life. For me, it's a great happiness
to be the one who witnessed this move. Because Unite Us has family, so it's one more the family that I, I unite. And I see how the family grows. Now he becomes part of our family too. And he, we continue as family of the Lord to share the many blessings the Lord gave to all of us. And we can help others to see the wonderful thing that is life. Be happy, enjoy, and care for one another always. Now I'm going to say a few words in Spanish for those who speak Spanish. Have an idea. Hoy pues hemos reunido aquí con gran alegría para compartir con Javier y Natalí este día especial en que se unen en matrimonio, donde el Señor los escogió a ellos en ser uno en su nombre. Ese es el regalo de este sacramento, que Dios une a estas dos familias para que compartan ese gran tesoro. Así que lo que ellos hacen con felicidad, nosotros nos beneficiamos también como comunidad cristiana en el amor del Padre. Les dije la importancia de la oración, la comunicación y el amor, porque estas tres cosas mantendrán a ellos dos unidos y centrados en ese amor que Dios un día empezó en la amistad que tuvieron. Que siempre sean un instrumento y una ayuda el uno para el otro, para todo lo que el Señor tiene preparado para ellos y los suyos. Y que esta gracia santificante siga creciendo a través de los años. Ahora escucharemos las promesas que se intercambiarán a Bia y Natalia. And now we're going to listen to the vows. And then you stand here. And you stand here. Okay. And then, Vivian, Lord did. Dearly beloved, you have come together in the house of the Lord, so that in the presence of the church minister and in the community, your intention to enter into marriage may be strengthened by the Lord with the sacred seal. Christ abundantly bless the love that binds the two of you together with this special sacrament. He enrich and strain those he already consecrated in baptism, that they may be faithful to each other forever, and as soon all the responsibility of married life. So in the presence of the church, I ask your intention. Javier, Natalie, have you come here freely and without reservation to give yourself each other in marriage? Would you love and honor each other, husband and wife, for the rest of your life? Yes. yes. Would you set children lovingly in front of God and bring them according to the law of Christ and the church? It is your intention to enter into marriage, join your hands, and declare your consent before God and the church. I have here, take Natalie. I have here, take Natalie, to be my wife. I promise to uh, be true to you uh, all the days of my life um, in sickness and in health, and I promise to be true in all the days of my life. I, Natalie, take you, Javier, to be my husband. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. I will love you and cherish you and honor you for all the days of my life. <laughs> May the Lord in his kindness and strength and consent you have declared before the church. And grace will bring to fulfillment his blessing within the two of you. But God joins together with no one put aside. All right. Now we're going to do the rings. Okay, the ring boy, come up. He's the youngest of all of the ring boys I ever know. <laughs> <laughs> Natalie, take this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, In the, name of the, Father the Son, and the Holy Spirit.
Javier, take this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Have you heard the word love and commitment? Yes. 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 Then you go back yes. to your places and we continue this journey. Is it new? Mm-hmm. My brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. The praise and glory of His name, far good at all of your church. Receive, we pray, O Lord, the offering made on the occasion of the sealing of the sacred bond of marriage. As just as your goodness it is origin. May your providence guide us course to Christ the Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you have forged the covenant of marriage has a sweet joke of harmony and an unbreakable bond of peace, so that the chaste and fruitful love of holy matrimony may serve to increase the children you adopt as your own. By your providence and grace, O oh Lord, you accomplish the two wonder of these twofold designs, that while the birth of children bring beauty to the world, the rebirth in baptism increase the church in Christ Jesus our Lord. Through him with angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise. How without end we are clay.
the font of all holiness. May holy therefore this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon them let the do for, that they may become for us body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. By the three days you lay in the tomb. You may take bread and give him thanks, broke it. Give it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. And Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to you who are worthy to be your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ will be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church has spread throughout the world and bring all the fullness of charity together with Pope Francis and Thomas, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and who have died in your mercy and welcomed them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Apostle and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we merit to be coheres to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Ya hermanos y hermanas, ya la junto. Todos decimos la oración que el Padre nos enseñó. Padre nuestro que estás en el cielo, santificado sea tu nombre. Venga a nosotros tu reino. Hágase su voluntad así en la tierra como en el cielo. Danos hoy nuestro pan de cada día. Perdona nuestras ofensas como también nosotros perdonamos a los que nos ofenden. Y no nos dejes caer en la tentación y líbranos de todo mal. Amén. Líbranos de todos los males, Señor, y concedernos la paz en nuestros días. Para ayudar por tu misericordia, vamos siempre libres de pecado, protegidos de toda perturbación, mientras esperamos la gloriosa venida de nuestro Salvador Jesucristo. Tuyo es el Rey, tuyo es el poder y la gloria por siempre, Señor. Señor Jesucristo, que dijiste a los apóstoles, mi paz os dejo, mi paz os doy. No tengas en cuenta nuestros pecados, sino la fe de tu iglesia. Y conforme a tu palabra, concede la paz y la unidad que virreina por los siglos de los siglos. La paz del Señor esté siempre con ustedes. Démonos un fraternal saludo de la paz del Señor. All right, the peace of the Lord. Peace of the Lord.
el Cordero de Dios que quita el pecado del mundo. Dichosos nosotros invitados a la cena del Señor. No soy digna. En una palabra tuya basta. Cuerpo y la sangre de Cristo en ya caminos de vida eterna.
Hey, once again, congratulations. Are you, are you nervous? No anymore, no anymore. Oh, Natalie is still nervous. Normally, you're supposed not to be nervous. This is a beautiful day, and it's beautiful ceremony that represents the joy of the Lord and the sacrament he gave to the two of you. To the family of Javier and Julian Luz, a son, you gain a daughter. And to the family of Natalie, you don't lose a daughter. You gain a son. Indeed, the Christian way we look at this moment has two families become one in the name of our Lord to share the good times and the difficult times, but always, always with God's presence in our life to share and to help us to show his face in the world. Have a wonderful, wonderful life together. Let us pray. By the power of this sacrifice, O Lord, and accompanied with a loving favor, one in your providence you have instituted, so to make one heart in love, those you already join in holy matrimony, and nourish with your body and blood, in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. By your head for God blessings. May God, eternal Father, keep you one heart in love for one another, that the peace of Christ may dwell in you and abide always in your home. Amen. May you be blessed in your children, have solace in your friend, and enjoy true peace with everyone. Amen. May you be witness in the world of God's charity, so that the afflicted and the needy, who know your kindness, may one day receive you thankfully into the eternal dwelling of God. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Y ahora quiero presentar a la nueva pareja en Cristo, Javier y Natalie.